When we face an unusually difficult situation, our first impulse may be to look for someone to blame. And uh, if that fails, we may try to manipulate the environment around us, including the people in that environment. We all have to make changes from time to time, but the first and perhaps the most important step is to get our own thoughts and our own feelings in order. Neither blame or anxiety or impulsive action assists us in our time of need. Actually, it puts us back. It's much better to go to God and to go to God first before we start all those lower human things inside of us and, and say with knowledge that God is with us that, yes, I have what I need to meet this challenge. And to talk to yourself in that way, that I have all that I need to meet this challenge. This situation, it is related to my own progress, and I intend to see that it works out in that manner. When you talk to yourself in that way, looking to God and looking to yourself only as a means for progress, then you will have just that. Real progress can be more accurately described as a journey rather than the arrival. So many people miss life because they're looking for a certain destination. They're thinking that when life gets exactly the way we want and all the pieces fit in the puzzle, then we'll be happy. But life is the journey. We, we miss the beauty if we only look at the, the final destination. I, I had a man one time walking with me through the rose garden of my ministry, and I was gazing around at all the beauty, and I noticed that he was just anxious to get to a building on the other side. And he was talking about how he seems to be missing all in life. And I stopped and I, I said, did you see that rose? Because it was in full bloom and it's one of the rarest of the rare. And he said, no. And then I invited him to walk back with me to, to, to take that journey again through the rose garden. And he admitted later on that he felt much better. When you look to God, when you're in a situation, a demanding circumstance, when you look to God and you accept God's help in that moment, then you have all that you need to meet the challenge.